Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is always a pleasure to hear about heroes and brave hearts who don't wear capes. Such is the story of Joan of Arc, written by George Bernard Shaw. So let us know about the writer. George Bernard Shaw was an Irish playwright, critic and political activist. He wrote more than 60 plays during his lifetime, including major works such as Man and Superman, Pygmalion and Saint Joan. He was a leading dramatist of his time. His influence on Western theatre, culture and politics extended from 1880s to his death and beyond. He was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1925. Joan of Arc is a small play depicting the courage and confidence of Joan, who played an important part in French history. The war fought between England and France from 1337 to 1453 has come to be known as the Hundred Years' War. Joan Joan was a peasant girl born in eastern France who led the French army to several victories during this war. It begins at the time when all of the northern France as you can see and some parts of the southwest were under foreign control. In 1429, the English controlled some parts and Burgundians controlled the others. The city of New Orleans, one of few remaining French cities, was held by English. Let's move to the play. The play begins where Captain Robert de Baudricourt, a military officer seated at the table, asked his steward standing in front of him. Steward refers to a supervisor. Why haven't the soldiers followed his orders of sending the peasant girl, that is Joan, out of the military base? The steward replied, that she instilled courage in them and she was not afraid of anything. He added that the captain could frighten her and informed him that Joan was in the courtyard. Hearing this, Captain Robert de Baudricourt sent for Joan. The well-built, strong country girl of 17 to 18 years confidently stated her request to Captain Square. Square refers to person of high rank. She requested him to give her a horse, armor, and some soldiers. Armor means metal or leather protective clothing worn in battle by soldiers. And she requested him to send her to Dauphin, to the oldest son of the King of France, who will become the queen after his father. Joan's request surprised the square. Robert threatened her that he would send her home and order her father to lock her up. But his words could not scare her. John firmly continued to speak about her plan of freeing Orleans. He was further shocked to hear that John was actually planning to free Orleans. She was so determined that she had even calculated the expenses or the expenditure of her plans. She said she would need a horse which would cost 16 francs. 
she would save on the armor by finding a soldier's armor that will fit her well she said that she would not need many soldiers as the dolphin would be providing her with the soldiers she needed john also informed robert that some of his men polly and jack were in support of her plan of, and were willing to go with her to the dolphin john also mentioned some other men like john godsave dick the archer their servants john of hornford and julian on hearing this robert immediately went to the window to call out to send polly that is who should be calling him he ordered the steward to keep an eye on john and stay within reach Monsieur de Poligny, a French guard, entered and saluted the captain and stood waiting. The captain wanted to confirm whether Polly, Jack, and Dick were planning to go to the dolphin as John had said. He also wanted to know what made them believe in John's ridiculous idea. To which Polly replied. He felt there was something about the girl and it may be worth a try as only a miracle could save them at the moment. Polly narrated that even though the dolphin had beaten English the year before last at Montargis, his men were cowed. Cowed refers to being scared or frightened. He also mentioned that John's word had put fire in all of them that they all were inspired by John. After the discussion Robert was thoughtful and he sent for John. He wanted to know more about her. John was called Jenny in Lorraine Juan in France and the soldiers called her the maid Robert then inquired whether Juan knew what she was getting into if she knew how the English fought and plundered plunder refers to looting and destroying everything but Juan calmly replied that she would make sure there isn't any english soldier on the soil of france john felt that the soldiers were always beaten because they were fighting only to save their skins they were only fighting to save their lives and the easiest way to save your life is to run away that's what she felt the army used to do john was confident that she would teach them to fight for France and they would drive the soldiers before them like a sheep. Juan's words convinced the square and he ordered her to go ahead with her plan. But he would wash his hands off it. That is, he will, he will not take any responsibility for it. John, excited on her success, dashed out of the room as Robert and Polly shook hands and bid goodbye to each other, repeating and retelling on the fact that there was indeed something about the girl.